Today we're taking a look at, look at our 2023 Isuzu NPR HD building the flatbed for it. This bed is 8 feet wide, 18 feet long. This is about the fourth or fifth one of those we built. We have D rings every couple of feet on both sides. Two 48 inch toolboxes on each side and a step on each side. Up top we have a left turn, the middle is a brake light, and a right turn. The left and right turn also light up on tail lights. And we'll have a uh, plate here. And we're going to deck this whole thing later on today and we'll refilm that. But I wanted to show you a few things building this deck. We're using 5.4 4 inch channels. So it's 4 inch by about an inch and a half by about 3 16 thick for our outside rail and our cross pieces. Yes, I know the maximum strength of these is when you stand them up, but we want to keep our bed height as low as we can to the ground. So we laid them down and we're only spanning a couple of feet without a support. So that'll hold the weight that, that we're dealing with. Now as you can see on the sides over there, I run my wiring inside a PVC conduit and then some flex at the end to get it to the light. That way it keeps the wires up out of the way and they don't rub on anything so it makes it pretty nice. Okay, 8 feet wide, 18 feet long, and we got the main rails, those are 33 and a half between them, well outside to outside, and those are about 18 feet long, and then on top of that, you have your uh, 4 inch channel, and then in between that, you have your 2 by 2 by quarter inch angle iron, and that's just for support. So when we have our deck on there, it keeps the deck plate from uh, bowing in because we're hauling uh, items that weigh two or 3,000 pounds each. So we need a little bit extra support to keep that deck plate uh, from bowing. On the back, we have left turn, right turn. The two in the middle are both brake lights and tail lights. And then back underneath, so they won't get hit, is your factory turn signal, brake light, backup light. There's also a backup camera on this and the ability to hook up a trailer. We also have a backup uh, beeper right in there. And I did put a little extra support for the gas tank neck this time because they, for some reason, they keep losing the gas cap. But this side is an exact copy of the other side. Like I say, four inch channel, about an inch wide, and there's about $2,500 worth of metal here, not counting the, uh, counting the deck plate. And then the toolboxes were about uh, $450 a piece. So all in all, uh, once we get this all welded and painted, we'll have about 3,500 bucks. Uh, in the complete deck and this is uh, almost September 2023 a deck like that if you were to go to buy it would be close to ten thousand dollars with the boxes and everything on there all right I'll shoot another video later